I'm Casey Graham with USAF Outdoor Adventure Programs. Uh, today what I want to talk about is conducting a knot pass. Um, so sometimes uh, if, uh, if you get yourself into trouble, maybe your climber gets a little injured on the climb or you, know, you want to try to get somebody off of the climb quickly because weather's coming in or something like that, it's nice to be able to, to lower somebody a full two rope lengths all the way to the ground. Um, and then you, know, you as the more experienced climber or the guide is kind of just doing quick repels after that. Um, but to get somebody kind of off the off the wall a little bit more quickly, we can tie two ends of our ropes together, create a nice long continuous rope. However, we're going to have to pass this knot at some point. And so what I've been doing here is lowering my uh, my second with a munter hitch that's backed up by a friction hitch off of my harness so that way you know if I have to go hands-free or something like that um, I have a backup if I, if I drop it I have a backup but now I'm gonna get up to where my my knot is coming into play and that can be kind of a difficult thing to roll through here uh, if you're training for something like the rock rescue drill um, there's a very specific way that uh, they kind of want to see you do this or a way that they don't want to see you do this meaning popping the munter um, but we'll go over both both strategies. So first things first, um, you know, I'm going to start to lower my client, or my second rather, as far down as I can to get pretty close to this knot. I'm going to try to get that knot nice and close up to my, my munter. And now my knot's even kind of on the other side of my, my friction hitch there. And, you know, essentially at the moment I can I can go hands-free with this system. From here, I'm gonna take my cord. I'm gonna go up to the shelf of my anchor with a nice big locking carabiner. I could also extend this out potentially, but for now, will be okay. I'm gonna tie a clem heist. Get a lot of nice friction on my load strand here. I'm gonna test that sure that it grabs, which it does. I'm gonna get that nice and close to my munter and then tie a new munter up here. And I'm gonna mule that off And I could tie an overhand or I could just take the tails and kind of slide that through and that's not going anywhere. So from here, I can now release some tension on my friction hitch and allow this munter to take up that slack and load this whole system, which gives me slack on my original munter. Before I switch this over though, I need to switch my system entirely onto a new one. So I'll take the back end of that knot. Do a new munter right there. I can mule it off or I can just wrap it around my hand if I feel like I can accomplish everything. For right now, I'm just gonna mule that off and then do an overhand to back all of that up. Okay. So from here, I can start to switch my system. Because that 
friction hitch up here is taking most of the load and it's backed up with my new Munter. I can now come out of my third hand and take this original Munter out. I'm gonna get that carabiner out of there just to clean everything up and make this a little bit more clear. And you can see that this friction hitch is taking most of the weight, but even if that gave, I'm still backed up with my new Munter. So now I'm gonna come down, I'm just gonna switch that, that back up onto my new rope. Test that, make sure that it grabs, and it does. Cinch that up. I can now start to release this onto my new Munter. And it's important that I tie these hitches close enough that, you know, when I'm able to take this whole thing out, I can still retrieve it and bring it back up to me so I don't lose this because I may need it later in my climb. So now I've got my new Munter. I'm backed up. I'm going to take that mule and overhand out. Try to finesse this so there's not much of a pop. And then I'm good to start lowering my new climber, or my, my climber with my new strand. It's so another way to pass a knot. Uh, maybe in this scenario, you've you know had some rock fall or something, and your rope has been damaged somehow. Maybe it rubbed over a sharp edge, and uh, you've just basically tied a knot around that damaged part of the rope. And now, as you're lowering, you need to pass that knot. Um, another way we can do this is just by rolling the knot through the Munter carabiner. Uh, and so, you ready, Colin? So same scenario as far as lowering, I've got my back up on my lower here. And as I get close to the knot, I'm gonna need to switch this back up onto the other side here. And so I just need another sling. Ideally, you know, if you've got another prussic cord, that's great. Um, if your options, which um, for me, you know, are usually uh, between nylon or Dyneema. I'm going to choose nylon. Uh, it's got a higher melting temperature, and so it's less likely to break down. I'm going to go with a Klemheist on this one. that bites and it does I'll just tie a little knot there just to shorten up you know my double length sling here and then I can take a locking carabiner clip that right through that loop that goes onto my belay loop and gets locked so now I'm backed up here I'm gonna hang on to that that break, take my old backup off and get that out of the way. And now I'm just gonna let this knot roll right through my carabiner. So it'll come up and I can kind of help it around using the tails here. And so now look what happens here. The knot is gonna get stuck in the tongue 
of the Munzer, okay? I don't want to let this tongue get too far down because as it pops, it's going to create a lot of slack in the system and my climber who might be already a little bit on edge is going to be on way more edge, right? Um, so I only want to let this come down just enough to get that knot through, okay? I can kind of cinch that up. I'm going to take the tails of my rope behind the knot. I'm going to push those right through the tongue and then give it a little pop. It's going to go right through the tongue. How'd that feel, Colin? Good. So not much movement on his end, okay? And my knot has been passed through nice and safe. I'm still backed up and I can continue with my lower. Stay tuned for more adventure tutorials, tech tips, live Q&A sessions, and more here on our Facebook page. And from all of us at USAFA Outdoor Adventure Programs, be well and keep the adventure alive. See you next time.